going to demonstrate how to set up the complex number activity. So first of all, if we open a new page, put in a polar grid and make it equal aspect. And then I'm going to go to Edit Axes, Appearance, and I'm going to change that to Graph Paper. With the Graph Paper, you can see it's divided into five subsections. I'm going to change that by going back to Edit Axes, Options, and then here subsections, and I'm going to change that to 6. And then labels, I'm going to change X, Y to real and imaginary. And then with my ranges, I'm going to set my X to 1. And then I'm going to put in my points. So if I go to enter coordinates, the first one I'm going to do is R theta. And if I bring over the keyboard and click on text, we've got a theta here. And as my point is selected, I'm going to click on the text box and change point to A, change the font and I'm going to make it blue. And I'm just going to check that my frame has got no border and that it's 100% transparent. Now at the moment this label is anchored to the point, so I'm going to double click on it and deselect the anchor to point so I can now move it where I want it. So I'm going to put it over here. And if I deselect by clicking over here and then the next point is going to be S phi. Now if I go back to the keyboard and in the extra section we've got the phi symbol. So again, as that point selected, I'm going to go to text box, change point to B this time, and edit my font, and I want it red. And I'm going to deselect the anchor to point, and then I'll move it over here. So deselecting everything, and then the third point is the product of the two, so it's RS and theta plus phi. So as it's selected, I'm going to go to text box. This time I don't want all this information, so I'm going to remove object text. And I'm just going to do the product A, B. I'm going to edit my font and make it purple. So I've got my three points in there. Um, A and B are actually at the same point. So if I go to my constant controller, I'm just going to change the step, step size to 1, and I'm going to change R to 2, so we can separate the two points. Now I'm going to create a vector now, so I need um, a point at 0, 0. And that's selected, so I'm going to select one of the other points, and then right-click and create vector. Now that's to B and it's red, which is what I wanted, so I'm going to leave that. So deselect now, um, click the center and click this point here, and then right click, create vector. Again, that one's blue, which ties in with um, the, the text for A. Deselect, and I'm going to do the same with the third point. So the center, the point, and right click and create vector. Now this time I'm going to change the vector and make it a dotted line. So if I select or deselect everything, select the vector, right click and edit draw options. I'm just going to change that to a dotted line. And there I've set up my activity.